my name's Mad Tom, you should grab a pint of Mad Tom IPA. It's quite good, I say. Hip hip cheerio. And with that, I've lost every single British subscriber I had. All right, today we're trying the Mad Tom IPA. And if you don't know what IPA stands for, it's India Pale Ale. And it was basically made when uh, uh, Britannica was taken over India. All right. So, I'm no stranger to IPAs. Growing up in Nova Scotia, everybody drinks Keith's, so. Oh my god. That is hardcore. That is a bitter beer. Wow. Sorry, not bitter. Hoppy. And, uh, I'm not a fan of IPAs because of that. I'm not into a really bitter beer. Woo! As far as IPA go, it does taste like IPA. You know, it's quite bitter. I'm uh, tasting subtle hints of spruce for some reason. Let's read the can. Inspired by late night stories around the fire, Muskoka Mad Tom will instantly grab your attention. And that it did. Dry hopped with Chinook and Centennial hops, this IPA has a vibrant aroma, depth of flavor, and crisp, crisp citrusy undertow like no wonder. I can't talk today, guys. Check your enjoy before date as her beer is best fresh, a result of her pure blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. It's uh, a whopping 6.4% alcohol. Wow. Happy with that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at that. Wow. Of course, Muskoka unfiltered. You can't really see through it, but... You know what that reminds me of? College. <laughs> that would pair nicely with nachos, I don't know, tacos, a burger, poutine, oh my god, don't air. But today, let's try it with some taquitos. To give you an idea what that tastes like, it tastes sort of like Alexander Keith's mixed with some tree sap. Not digging it. I taste tree sap. I'm going to bring this to my wife, see if she tastes tree sap. Alright, I don't know how that happened, but she actually likes it more than I do. <laughs> I'm a little biased, but I rate that a 4 to 10. <clears throat> I would not buy that again. <laughs> oh man, like, it's definitely way better than uh, a Coors Cold Shot, for example, but I, I still wouldn't... I still wouldn't willingly go out and buy this. No, do not recommend. You know what? I rate it lower. I rate it 3 out of 10. Muskoka, you... I don't know. But I don't like IPAs either, so I'm not into the super bitter beer. One, two, three. Ah! Wow! some eggnog or a pint of Kilkenny or something, alright? Peace out, guys. Just prep. See ya.